Let's get started with the announcements for our January 15 Metro Council meeting. <laughs> Councilman Jernigan. Where's my sergeant of arms there? She, does she have them? I have a proclamation that I'm doing this evening, and I'd like to do it during uh, announcements so I don't waste everybody's time when we're on the agenda items. But um, if I can get the sergeant of arms to bring the family up for me. side of me and make sure Larry's far away. Okay. I'm doing a resolution tonight, uh, resolution number RS-2013-548, and it, it's a resolution honoring the life of H. Houston Hager. And it reads like this. Whereas on November 17th, 2012, Nashville and Davidson County lost a respected public servant in the passing of H. Houston Hager, a man of great integrity. And whereas H. Houston Hager was born in 1925 and raised in Davidson County, Tennessee, he graduated from the National School of Law in 1950 and is survived by his wife of 25 years, Peggy S. Hager. And whereas H. Houston Hager worked as a claims attorney for 34 years with USF and G and Alexander and Alexander, was a juvenile and night court clerk for 12 years at Metro Nashville and retired in 2004 practiced civil law since 1990 and was a member of the Nashville Bar for over 50 years. Whereas H. Houston Hager was a former member of the Nashville Kiwanis Club, the Donaldson Hermitage Chamber of Commerce, was a Metro Councilman in this body for 10 years from 1979 to 1989, a member of the former deacon in New Hope Baptist Church where he taught an adult class for 17 years and was an Army veteran of World War II. And whereas those who knew H. Houston Hager will long miss his presence and his guidance as he will be remembered with great affection and admiration. And whereas it's fitting and proper for the Metropolitan Council remem remembers the bountiful life of this exceptional public servant and human being. Reflect upon his impeccable character and commitment to Nashville and Davidson County and express our condolences to the family upon the occasion of his untimely passing. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County. Section 1. The Metropolitan Council hereby goes on the record as honoring the life of H. Houston Hager. Section 2. The Metropolitan Council is directed to prepare a copy of this resolution to be presented to the family of the late H. Houston Hager. Section 3. The resolution shall take effect from and after its adoption, the welfare of the Metropolitan Government and Nashville and Davidson County requiring it. Adopted this day, January the 8th, 2013th, and signed under my hand, Darren Jernigan, Council Member, District 11. Thank you very much for, for being here tonight. Thank you very much. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you very much. Say a few words? No? Well, thank you very much, and, and, and stay for the entire Council meeting. I'm sure Houston would like that. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Jernigan. <laughs> Council Member Anthony Davis. Thank you, Chair. Uh, just a couple short announcements. Um, <clears throat> first, this uh, Wednesday, tomorrow night, 6 p.m., uh, Rosebank Elementary is having a meeting uh, just for neighborhood residents and the advisory committee of uh, Rosebank Elementary as we're trying to make some improvements there and, and decide on some directions of the school. So just encourage all East Nashville neighbors uh, in the area to come out tomorrow night, 6 p.m., to Rosebank Elementary. And then this Thursday night, 6.30 p.m., 
Uh, we're having our Rosebank Neighbors Meeting. Uh, that's held at the Memorial Lutheran Church this Thursday, 6.30 p.m., uh, Rosebank Neighbors. And we'll be having Tim Netch from Parks out to speak to us. Um, we're going to talk, uh, Councilman Westerholm will be there as well. We'll be talking about um, Cornelia Fort Air Park and the uh, direction as it becomes a metro park and uh, part of the uh, East Nashville Shelby Bottoms Greenway. So please join us 6.30 p.m. Thursday at the Lutheran Church uh, to discuss that. And uh, for South Inglewood neighbors, we canceled our meeting that was supposed to be last night. And so due to weather, we canceled that. We'll be back on next month. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Councilman Westerholm. Thank you, Chair. Also wanted to remind folks about a meeting tomorrow night, Wednesday, January 16th, at 6 o'clock at Eastwood Christian Church, located at 1601 Eastland Avenue. This is a neighborhood meeting to discuss the rezoning of seven properties on Eastland Avenue. They'll be changing from R6 to MUNA is the request, and the application of a conservation overlay from Eastwood neighbors. So that's 6 o'clock tomorrow, Wednesday, January 16th, at Eastwood Christian Church. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Johnson. Thank you, Pro Tem Todd. Uh, District 29, uh, as the email that was sent out um, states, we have a community meeting. Thursday, this week, Thursday, January the 17th at 6.30 p.m. at the Unit Church of Christ on Old Murfreesboro Pike. This is to discuss a proposed zone change at the corner of Old Murfreesboro Road and Smith Springs Road. So please make plans to attend. Also, my uh, monthly office hours is scheduled for the fourth Saturday, as always, uh, January the 26th from 10 to 12 noon at First Tennessee Bank, Nashboro at 2360 Murfreesboro Road. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other announcements for tonight? Seeing none, that concludes our announcements for the January 15 meeting.